Hello, my name is Nick Benoit from Smart Technologies and we're here at Future Schools 2018 at the Melbourne Convention Center. Just finishing up day one, some fantastic conversations. Wanted to take you quickly through our booth to show you what's the latest and greatest from Smart. So revisiting a couple old products that we've revolutionized here. First is the document camera from Smart Technologies. Some of the new changes that really differentiate our document camera from others. Firstly, the ability to have wireless connectivity. So we can mirror cast directly from a document camera to the smart board. Um, also, we can have it wireless as well. So you can take this document camera throughout the room. We can um, move it even into to an exterior space or out into the playground, capture content and bring it back to the smart board. So again, a, a product that we've had for a few years, still tightly integrated with Notebook, just a little bit better. Moving forward here, another old favorite, the Smart Podium. Some of the things that we've done with the Smart Podium that make it different from the past is now, it's not only pen enabled, but it's only also finger. So I can actually touch, grab my pen, start to annotate, but can it also grab a traditional stylus and annotate here as well. Love those leaves. Full HD display, standard connectivity. Again, typical use case where as a presenter, I want to engage my audience, but have my content available behind me. Scooting over here to my left. Behind me is the first of the passive smart boards, which is a bit of an oxymoron, I know, but we have the ability to do wireless screen sharing via AirPlay, Miracast, and Chromecast. The idea being that it's consistency from a support point of view and 75 inch 4K, you're gonna have the same support process and the same user experience on the screen sharing side that you would get from our traditional interactive displays as well. Comes in both white and black, super sleek, As we move here across to the left, traditional smart board, this is our 6265. All of the capabilities that we traditionally have within our learning suite software, we still have here. I can pull up a 3D object and interact with it. I really love the add a label feature, press and hold, add label. From here I can pull that up. What's fantastic about that is it'll actually move with my object as I move that around. So this is all traditional functionality within Learning Suite that y'all would have seen, maybe been familiar with. What's really changed for Smart over the last year is not only the software, um, but also the hardware. Let's move over here to check out the 7000 series. Now we know you love the old favorites within the 7000 series. Things like the Magic Pen. We love this. Oops, sorry, I didn't select it there. Pull up a spotlight, move us through the progression of the hardware. Maybe we want to zoom in on the new 7000. No problem. Have the ability to do that there. Now the 7000 itself, two different modes that we can work from. We can work from the embedded capabilities, which is you know, the smart cap whiteboard, which most of you would be familiar with. Our smart notebook player, fantastic technology that really takes the need for a device out of the equation in the classroom. As a teacher, I can create my lessons at home, send them directly to the smart board via this process, come into the classroom and access those activities. Everything is still multi-user. Everything is designed to get the kids up to the board engaging with the content. As we move through the embedded part of the technology, built-in browser, not only can we pull up a browser, 
but we can also annotate on that and capture it back to our board. Of course, as we had talked about with our 2000 series, built-in screen sharing, AirPlay and Chromecast and Miracast, and of course, the ability to switch back to our PC and work with the software. Notebook software, of course, a lot of you at home are familiar with this, familiar with the capabilities. With our new solution, with Learning Suite, it is all about enabling the digital classroom. It's all about ensuring that students, when they have a device, can engage with the content at the front of the room and making it easier for teachers to manage those environments as well. Very quickly, classlab.com, everything is web-based. It supports in-room learning as well as distance learning. I've been fortunate enough to have a pretty good group of kids with me here today um, who have joined my classroom. We've got Tom Brady, Renee, Peter, all joining my session. So what this enables me to do is actually pose formative and summative assessments. My students are typing on their personal devices and I have the ability to identify all of the different answers that they provide. Of course, I can pull out my pen and make annotations here. Rob has been an IT coordinator. I want to call attention to that. I can bring it to the front of the page and so on. Again, the power here is that embedded within the notebook software, I don't have to switch applications. I don't need to disrupt the flow of the lesson. Everything is done within the same software, which supports continuity and obviously student engagement. As we move through my lesson, we take a look at some of the other things that we've introduced with Smart Learning Suite. I'm just gonna pull up a lesson activity that we've done. I love this one. Now, in the same way that I've just got formatively, I formatively understood where my students are with regards to um, their knowledge of smart boards, so too can I actually get those students up to the board and interacting with the content. So I'm gonna call my uh, best pupil, um, Mr. Robert Mayer, the front of the classroom and Rob and I can actually now work together we're collaborating to identify which flag goes which which would you say Spain ah, I don't think it's Spain Rob no, no. Germany let's, yeah, let's go let's think? try Germany, Germany. Okay. should we check Rob Mayer all of our products are multi-user. All of our products support actually four users at the board interacting with the content. Um, if we think about some of the, the principles of um, you know, how many times it takes a student to interact with content to learn a specific topic, um, you know, it's usually three, you introduce the concept, you have them work on it by themselves, and then you assess. And that's really what we're supporting here natively within the notebook software. Everything you've known and love um, is here, as well as the ability to take lessons, develop them on the fly, um, things like, you know, ad hoc game show or an ad hoc flip card, you know, really um, game-based learning that's designed to engage digital natives. We can't expect our students to be enveloped in technology, enveloped in multimedia, and to come into a classroom and not have that same experience. So this is about you know, teaching to um, that specific generation, but also making it easier on the teacher as well. Come down, booth 305, Future Schools 2018. We'd love you show, to show you these products in real life.